You're watching the News Channel 15 Highlight Zone with Glenn Marini. Sports coverage you can count on with the Highlight Zone starts now. It means nothing at this point in time other than a great early win. We're just out here just trying to play hard, trying to get better every day. We've got a lot of kids that can put the ball in the basket, and tonight we shared the ball. Both teams came out in intensity. We were just able to maintain ours through the whole game. Well, Christmas has indeed come early if you're an SAC basketball fan. Conference play tipping off with the first night of girls-boys doubleheaders this season. And what a way to tip things off for the fellas. By Hay Arena, one of the best places to watch a game in all of Northeast Indiana. Joe Whalen spent the night there. He's got your Highlight Zone Game of the Week. Joe. Yeah, Glenn, the SAC Holiday Tournament draw came out earlier this week, and no one was surprised to see Northside at the top. The Redskins are the easy pick to win the conference with four starters back. From there, things get messy. Snyder has enough potential to draw the two seed, so what better way to gear up for a potential championship game next week than a showdown of the top two seeds this week? Snyder entering the night at 1-1. One one. Northside, meanwhile, a crisp 2-0 mark. Redskins looking to hold court at home, and they do so right off the bat. Off the opening tip, Trey Cruz finds younger brother Terrell for the look inside, and we're off and running. But from there, Snyder takes over for the quarter. First, it's inside to the big man, six foot seven Logan Godfrey. And from one extreme to the other, five foot seven Leander Williams gets the friendly bounce. It was a one-point game after the opening quarter. In the second, this would set the tone the rest of the way. Mike Davis. That's a man's jam, and we'd see more from him in just a little bit. Trey Cruz facilitating finds my love Sutton for the three. North loving them some Sutton. Then it screws himself off the inbounds, corrals the loose ball for the three. Game high 26 points for the senior. Redskins led this one 31 22 at the half. Third quarter. I said we'd see more from Mike Davis. Big man showing the range, 18-footer, as the lead grows. North hitting the offensive glass all night. Usha Mitchell getting up for the get-down, and then it's back to Davis, this time stepping beyond the arc. 19 for Davis, and it's time to break out that SAC bell. Northside ringing in win number three in style, 68-46. Redskins roll. Oh, it was very important. To, you know, it was a statement game, so you know we wanted to make, you know, we wanted to, you know, feel hype, feel happy about this. So we felt pretty good. Oh, it was a big statement, big statement to everybody out there in the SAC. We look forward to playing anybody we want, but now we got to keep it going for the rest of the season. Our kids played exceptionally well. I'm proud of that. Um, it's a long season, but they they they're, they're going to be hungry. You know, this this is a win, and we see Snyder again. The score is zero zero, regardless of the situation. We got a chance to see those guys two more times, and our guys got to understand they got to bring the same level of intensity that they brought tonight. Looking ahead, Northside is at Northrop next Friday, while Snyder hosts East Noble tomorrow. And, Glenn, this is definitely a warning sign for the rest of the SAC. North wins by 22. They didn't even play that good of a game. And I know. And, and Coach, this puts an entire bullseye right on their back. It's a great win to start off conference play. But like you said, they are now the hunted for sure in the SAC. <laughs> hey, let's stick in the SAC. Dwenger at Concordia. Actually, first game of the season for the Saints. That's what happens when you make the 4A state championship game in football. First quarter action. Ryan Crispin for three. Dialing it up. Dwenger up. 5-2 early, then Grady Eifert, uh, kid's got some good genes, knocks down the triple, Dwenger in control early, but Concordia answering, Paxton Bergdahl, young guy, they expect a lot from him this year, gets the bucket there, and then you're going to see Concordia's Andrew Brown miss, but DJ McCall says, I got you buddy, 13 points for McCall, Reggie Tharp also had 13 to lead the KDS, but Grady Eifert, he had 19 points as Dwenger opens the season with a nice win at the cage, 56 48 over Concordia. Lures at Southside. That means our first look at J.J. Foster as the Knights' new head coach. First quarter action. South coming out of the gate hot. Tion Fryer knocks down the triple. Then how about Sam Stevens, the big guy, showing some touch down low. You saw him go down low. How about up high? Nate Thomas, the senior, finishes the alley-oop. South comes out to an early nine-point lead, but Lures hits the glass after that. This is what Coach Foster's teaching. Tyrell Johnson with the putback. He had 14 points for the Knights. And then how about more from Lures doing the Windex work? Jordan Banks, 11 points for the big guy. Lures cuts that early lead to just six. Nate Thomas on fire early. Three of his 22. But it's Lures coming up with a win at Don Riker Gymnasium to open this one. Ooh, good win in the SAC. 81-76 Lures over South. Undefeated Wayne looking to make it 4-0. Northrop the only thing standing in the way. Coach Kuhlman with that beautiful orange on. 
Bruins in control early. Jawan starts, banks the three, but the Generals, they answer. This is Wright State signee Justin Mitchell. He had 19 to lead the Generals, and twin brother Jay Zeus knocks down the triple. Wayne up by eight after one, and uh, this guy, yeah, he needs no introduction. He would spark his team as he was in the stands. Northrop, Enos Bechev. Bechevovich with the bucket, then it's Bechevovich with a nice look to Devin Tennant. Bruins up by five. Wayne looking good in the second half. Cameron LaShore, second quarter I should say, pops the three, but you know what? It is Northrop getting a great win on their own turf, 67-58. Stepping outside the SAC for just a second. Canterbury looking to get back on track as the Cavs hosting Adam Central. That's Andrew Kuz in the second quarter with the baby hook. Going the other way now, Hayden Black kicks it to Blade Cable. He buries the three, had himself a nice game. More from Adam Central in the third. Alex Byerly driving baseline and it hits. Then it's Black to Cable again. Good combination. Cable had 17 points. That would lead the Jets, but you know what? It wasn't enough. Grant Sin finding Andrew Coos. Coos, nice touch for a big man. He had 21 to pace the Cavs. Canterbury a winner, 58 to 53. Well, getting back to the SAC, an absolutely huge girls game on the docket. Southside, the top seed for the upcoming holiday tournament. Lures, yeah, your number two seed. The two conference favorites squaring off at Don Riker Gymnasium. Denny Rainier's team, check this out. A 14 at the half. Yeah, at Southside, you don't see that very often. Third quarter, that's Emma Wolf, hungry like the wolf, knocking down the triple. Then it's Addie Reinbold. She can shoot it, folks. Going to play at Kentucky Wesley and knocks down the J. Shayla Satorius with the pilfer. The pair, the super soft, had 13 points. And Southside down 20 at home. 20 at home heading into the fourth quarter. However, you know what? Juanita's, Juanita Goodwell's team would make it a ball game. Lake and Gully as the Archers cut it to six, but simply too big a hole to dig out of. Reibold led the Knights with 16 points as Lures beat South by 10, 59-49. It means everything. I mean, we knew what we had to do to get the win. We're going to come out aggressively next uh, holiday tournament also. So we're just going to continue to fight and continue to do a, execute our game plan and go out with a win. We went from 13 points to 20 points going to the fourth quarter. And then we just we, we held them off is all I can say. And Southside's a great team, and they made a great comeback. But it means a lot to our kids, I promise you, and to me. Next up, Southside gets Homestead. That's on Tuesday night while Lures is at Huntington North that same evening. At Concordia, the Cadets ranked eighth in this week's 3A State Bowl. Dave Miller's team hosting Dwanger. Pick it up in the third quarter. You know what? Concordia was up 36 to 7 at half. That was Janaya Kelly with the bucket, 40 to 7 at that point. Dwanger's Michelle Adgalanis with the bucket. Courtney Smith, looking good. Great night for her. 20 points in Dave Miller. I approve of that message. How about Brooke Mackey with the rebound and the putback? Concordia with a big win tonight at the cage, 56 to 21. Let's go back to Bay Hay Arena. The Snyder girls were at Northside this evening. Well, let's get right to those Snyder Northside girls highlights. You see right there, Novich, no, uh, excuse me, Noratia Jackson with the bucket. How about this? You see the three, Deidre Moore in the third quarter knocks down the triple, but North down by 31, but it's all Snyder. Deja Wimby would walk this one in. Snyder. Looks good. Wimby had 23. They win it by 30, 76, 46. Panthers in control. Final stop in the SAC is Wayne at Northrop. Third quarter is where we pick it up. Northrop down by one. Make it to, oh, make it up to Elias Suari. Already signed with Central Michigan. Three of her game high, 26. Wayne, though, hanging around. Tierra Poindexter with two of her 12. And you got Carmen James working it. She had seven, but five minutes to go. Northrop takes over. Nevada Jones never a gamble with Nevada. Slicing through the D. She had 14. Swery and the Bruins. Ooh, swat away the Generals. Wayne falls to Northrop, 43 to 38. Well, we are going to take a quick timeout, but coming up after the break, we've got more girls hoops. Two top 15 teams go head to head with Norwell at Columbia City, while Homestead looks to stay undefeated. And two key games in ACAC play. Yeah, we're going to head to the hangar and to the stardom. All that's coming up next in the Highlight Zone. Hi, my name is Cole, South Adams. It might be snowing outside, so stay seated. It's the Highlight Zone will be right back. <laughs> 